It's the March Christmas, and I'm ill. I hate being ill. I hate being ill. So I've got to get over it because I've got Christmas card to write, I've got presents to wrap, I've got presents to buy, I've got presents to choose as well. I should probably do that first. The best way to get over a horrible cold is to have some really nice hearty chicken broth. I've got most of the ingredients already, but all I need from the supermarket is some chicken. So, shopping done, I've got a nice big juicy chicken ready to be carved up. Unlike stock, broth is normally made with the meat of the bird and it tends not to be cooked before you actually use it. In this case, I'm going to use the breasts and the thighs for something else, so all I want really are the uncooked bones to chuck in. Quick as you can, whip off the breasts and the thighs, leaving all the bones on the carcass. You're going to want a knife, just like this filleting knife, which is lovely and bendy. Now we've stripped the breasts and the thigh and the drumsticks off the chicken, we can take this, grab ourselves a pressure cooker and chuck the carcass straight in. Next, give your cutting board a little rinse to get rid of that raw chicken. So into the pressure cooker to get things started, we're going to chuck in the holy trinity of stock ingredients. Celery, carrots and onions. A lot of people say that because carrots are cooked at such a high temperature, you don't need to worry about washing them. But carrots grow in really loose soil and to loosen up the soil, people tend to add quite a lot of sand. So if there's any what looks like dirt on the outside of this, it's most likely going to be little grains of sand and the problem with that is they're horrible when you get them in your mouth. So give your carrots a really quick rinse and rub under the tap before you start chopping them. If you were making a basic broth, that is essentially all you need. You just put about two litres of water in there, lid on, leave it 45 minutes on high pressure and Bob's your uncle. However, for this particular one, I'd like to pimp it up just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is grab a nice chunk of root ginger, give it a little rough chop like so and chuck that in as well. The ginger gives the broth a really nice fresh flavour, which lends itself to any kind of Thai or similar types of cuisine. Now with your pot, put about two litres of water in, pop it on the hob, lid on, wait for it to come up to high pressure and keep it there for about 45 minutes. If you don't have a pressure cooker, don't worry, just cook it for about two to two and a half hours on a really low hob in a big pan on the stove. If you are having just broth and noodles, then you're pretty much done. All you need to do is, when the broth's ready, drain it off and while it's still piping hot, Pop the noodles in it, cover with the plate so the noodles soak up all of that lovely broth flavour and serve it as is. However, I'm going to have a few toppings for this. We've got some beautiful vegetables bought fresh from our lovely greengrocer just down the road and I'm also going to use one of the breasts that we took off our chicken. Flatten it out and fry it really hard to get a crispy crust to it. Then I'm going to slice that really finely and lay it on the noodles. So I've got some lovely big spring onions, some pak choy, a courgette, and some lovely red peppers. Normally I'd fry these separately because it's much easier to know when they're done, but as I'm feeling a bit lazy and a bit ill, I'm gonna put them all in together. The only important thing you've got to remember is making sure that when you chop them up, they're approximately the same size. So put a pan on a medium heat with a little bit of innocuous oil. I personally use rapeseed and give your vegetables a little bit of a chop. As the vegetables are getting a nice little caramelization on the outside, Get another smallish pan and it's time to cook your chicken. Once you've cooked your vegetables and they're looking something like this, pop them in a bowl and set to one side. Once you've done your chicken, pop it back on your cutting board, cover it with a little bit of foil and just leave it to rest. Once the broth's ready, turn the heat off and wait for it to cool down. If you want to get the lid off quickly, pop it in the sink and run cold water all the way around the rim of the pressure cooker. Now grab yourself a colander and a bowl. Put the colander over the bowl and pour everything through so it strains out all the bits and bobs and leaves you with a beautiful broth. Once you've got your bowls, chuck in the noodles and let them soak up that beautiful mixture. But not before you put in a little bit of seasoning. For this I use really nice thin rice noodles so they cook really quickly. 
As those slowly cook, take your chicken and slice it really finely. Lay it over the top nice and gently. Not forgetting your vegetables. And there, you have it. Chicken broth with rice noodles, fried vegetables, and deliciously succulent chicken breast. Cure for any illness. Oh, absolutely delicious.